What's going on everybody? Brandon Schaefer here. Thank you for joining me for this lesson video. Should be a good one. Here's a close-up of the finished painting. Just so you know what it's going to look like and uh, what the lesson is all about today. In a second here, I'm going to show you the still life as well so you can see what I was actually painting. I painted this from life. This was probably one of my favorite paintings that I've done. Uh, one of my first oil painting still lifes, believe it or not. So this is a six by eight canvas panel. And I'm starting out by sketching the composition, figuring out what the composition is going to be. So I put in the line of the table. And I also figured out that T above the line of the table there is the jar, the top of the jar and the middle, the center of the jar. And I'm just sketching out, I think at the time I was using burnt umber and just a little bit of Gamsol or some kind of paint thinner. So usually when I start paintings and still lifes, uh, for the most part in general, I start with the darkest dark in the painting as you can see here. And then I slowly work my way out of those darkest dark shadows into the lighter shadows. And then some, but you know, it's a general statement. So sometimes I'll put in the darkest dark and then I'll put in like the most saturated color. And then maybe the lightest highlight or like the lightest light color. So then I kind of know the range of values and colors that I'm going to be using uh, throughout the entire painting. Kind of, It's kind of like a roadmap, you know, know where you're going type of thing. You know, you, the type of brushes you use are up to you. Uh, it's kind of a personal preference. I encourage you to kind of explore around and try different brushes and just see what works best for you and, and in certain situations. Uh, so now instead of going, instead of working out of those dark shadows, I, like I said, I went straight to one of the most saturated colors, which is this lemon. Um, so in, intuitively, I kind of just work around the canvas uh, for the most part, intuitively. So I, it just felt right to me to do the lemon next and kind of get that color keyed in on the canvas and just see how it would look. So I got the kind of the light area of the lemon and now I'm slowly mixing kind of a different shade for each, for the, the shadow side of the lemon, but also being concerned with the form of the lemon. So this is like the front edge of it and then underneath and kind of just blending that up into the light areas. Working on the dreaded jar that I've been putting off this whole painting. Because uh, it's pretty tricky to paint glass and especially if there's something inside the glass. Um, there was a lot of, I had a bunch of dried herbs. Um, medicinal herbs, no drugs. <laughs> but I just had some dried herbs in there and uh, that I used for tea. And uh, just made it difficult. So this is the part of painting that can be pretty tricky. Tweaking the mandarin slice there and also its reflection and the reflection of the mandarin itself. Trying to get that reflection to just shine a little bit stronger. Overall, this is a pretty good painting, I think. So far, I mean, it looks pretty realistic and, um, you know, I could call it quits right here and be happy with it. Uh, but I think just a few more minutes uh, that we're gonna see here will kind of bring it to life even more. But also always looking at my subject and comparing it and trying to get it as close as I can. 
This is the part that I always love to do. This was what I looked forward to when I was doing a painting, is putting these last little bits of a highlight on. Because this is the part that would always bring the paintings to life, is adding a little touch of highlight, that, that bright spot on the, throughout the painting on the objects. That's what always brought it to life for me, and I always loved uh, doing those strokes. So now I'm just adding final highlights on the glass jar, on the fruit, probably on the table. And uh, we're pretty much, we're almost to the end of the video here, just another minute or so. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's an older painting I've done a few years ago, but I hope you enjoyed seeing it and learning something from it. And if you have any suggestions for other videos you want me to do, any kind of subjects, just let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do. Here's a look at the uh, finished painting once again in just a few seconds. Anyway, take care. Peace.